What's up, guys? Master Gamer here, coming at you with Spooky House episode five. Um, got some shout outs that I'm gonna do, but we're gonna get into that a little bit later. Uh, quick info about what's going on as of now with the game. Uh, as you guys remember, uh, in my last epic click hammer of the last video, uh, I was standing after a big boss battle I had with a giant baby girl named Chauncey that was born as a baby by them two go by them two uh, the husband and wife. Uh, I can't remember those two names, but I will be doing a video of the ghosts that I've caught so far in the game, so keep a lookout for that. But, um, I wonder how ghosts have sex. You know, like, if anybody can figure that out, let me know in the contents below how do ghosts have sex. You know, I, I've been, that's been puzzling to me for these last couple of years. How the hell did a baby be born as a ghost? Uh, does a ghost have a penis? Does she have a vagina? Do they actually make sperm up? I don't know. I'll leave that guys, leave that to y'all to figure out. And whatever it is, I will be not proud to announce it in my next video. But, you know, so that's for that just of uh, the fight she was the boss and i had to capture her um and also in this video they will also be explaining about how did the booze play in a certain part in the mansion how are how's king boo and his you know his associates all wrapped up with luigi and tied in with professor he got it'll go into more depth about how he was able to take the ghosts and free them from the pogusta 3000 not pogusta 3000 well yeah pogusta 3000 sort of sense from the uh from the machine that the professor has used to turn ghosts into painting that you guys saw in the first two videos. So, you know, with that, it's pretty cool um, how they show it, um, how it is, you know, whatsoever. But um, what am I saying? <laughs> you you guys will see the whole process pretty much in this video. How? Uh, well, yeah, in, <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I'm thinking about two other different things right now, guys. So please forgive me. So yeah, you you will see a more in depth story about what's going on in the match. Uh, next thing I will be talking about is shout outs. Uh, the first shout out I like to give uh, Gary is gaming ethos. You know, uh, he's a good friend. I know him in real life. You know. He, He's been supporting me through my channel. He's the one that introduced me to that commentator's buffet, you know. He's been looking out for me because originally I did have a gaming channel at one point in time. But um, I had too much stuff going on. So I decided to, you know, just to stop that. So since I decided to come back, I, instead of using that channel, I just gave myself a whole new look. And Master Gaming was born. So, you know, with that, I'm happy, you know, he's born. And, you know, I would really like to you know... Thank him so gaming ethos. You know, th thanks, thanks for helping out Master Gaming the best way you can with the channel and stuff. Um, you know, he's a real good guy. Check out some of his footage. Um, in the upper link at the top on the left hand corner. You know, check out his channel. He has some really good MW3 footage. You know, um, I've been hearing that he's trying something new. That he's planning on doing something with MW3 because he uh he's not really trying to do that so much of it before but you know check out some of his old footage he's a real funny guy you know you'll fall in love with his voice and everything like most white girls fall in love with Justin Bieber's voice or freaking Justin Timberlake or freaking Clay Aiken I don't know what white girls fall in love with now these days all I know is Justin Bieber and maybe Clay Aiken but you know he has that Justin Bieber Clay Aiken voice for black people and white people and maybe Asians I don't know about Mexicans maybe Mexicans that depends on the Mexicans but yeah, uh, you know, he's a cool guy. You, you know, check out some of his content. He's a hell of a MW3 player and Call of Duty player overall. You guys would love to have him in a room of domination or kill confirming, you know. He's a real good guy, awesome team player, makes quality videos. I don't know what the capture card he uses, but um, it's, it's good as a start, you know. I can see his pictures, the gameplay really well. It's not really so blurry as uh, whatever the case is, but you know, it's good quality footage. And, you know, you can see it, but most people are there for the commentator. But if you're there for the commentator, you won't go wrong. So, you know, check out his channel. Sub to him. You know, you may see a video that he may post up and like. Also, follow him on Twitter. You know, his Twitter is Gaming Ethos. Uh, you really don't find so many uh, YouTube commentators with the same name. The easy look up. So, you know, check him out. Uh, he, he, he does some funny tweets. He also really tweets the show about what he's planning on doing next with his channel. So, you know constantly you know if you really want to keep watching this footage follow him on twitter like 
really we all act like a bunch of robots now on twitter follow everybody that we can with team follow back and stuff like that i don't really think it wouldn't kill your programming if you know and you went to go follow this guy because he's a guy worth follow trust me he really is you guys won't go wrong you'll have a great time with him as much as i did um but um I'm hoping that he can get his money situation, you know, sorted out for uh, when Borderlands 2 comes out. Because I would love to do a dual com with him. You know, I think he would, would be love to do that too. A way to boost both of our channels both ways. So I'm really hoping that he can get that done. He's also confirmed that he will be doing Black Ops 2 content. So if you guys are looking for a good commentator for some Black Ops 2 content, start with that guy. You will love him through it, through it all and I always keep asking for more. Uh, I know he'll be doing something like that. I don't know if he'll be doing Dishonor. You know, you have to ask the Ethos himself um, about what he's doing with Dishonor. I've been seeing some hype about that game, but I can, I can, what I'm feeling from him right now, I know he's probably gonna be doing some footage with that. So, you know, go to his Twitter page, ask him, ask him in your com in his comments below. You know, check this guy out. Me and him, we're trying to become real big YouTube channels, and the only way we can do that is with you guys' as help. We want to become big, so you know we can go back and help out other people. You know, so you know, check him out, guys. I really, I can't really say it again, you know, but check him out. He, he's, he's really awesome. You're gonna love him whatsoever. Um, update again on Borderlands 2. I have confirmed that I will be doing a opening video intro of the game on the day it comes out, so September 8th. So that's something to look forward to. And once again, I want to reiterate from September the 2nd to the 3rd, I may not be uploading through them days because I will be moving back up to uh, my dorm on campus and I will be trying to situate my room so um, I need to really like rebuild my whole workstation that I have now uh, up there <laughs> I have to really resettle myself in to make sure everything's accommodating to me for so that I can be able to do walkthroughs and stuff like that while still be able to do my homework at the same time. So, you know, um, quick update. If that's why, if I'm going dark for them two days, you guys know the real reason why. But if I do come back early, you be expecting that, but not so much of it. But, you know, keep, keep it, just keep it 50-50, you know. But I will be coming back, like, on the 4th and through that week, I will be doing a little... Uh, events and stuff to help promote me doing uh, Borderlands 2 and stuff so you know to look out for that keep an eye out for that on my especially my Twitter feed so like in my comments below uh, look at you know follow me on Twitter you know I, I do some real interesting tweets I follow some real interesting people that that are also good commentators I can't remember their names right now but just a shout out to every last one of you guys you know that help me with my channel uh, I will be putting their links down in the uh, comments below about where to check out their channel and stuff like that so you know ch click on them check them out and stuff you know but um, guys I'm gonna get out of here so I'll see you guys later